I'm Eileen Scully. I am the founder and CEO of The Rising Tides, which works to make workplaces better for women. And I'm also the author of a book called In the Company of Men, How Women Can Succeed in a World Built Without Them. So being a former technologist, I was with Gartner and Forrester and a number of other research and advisory firms for about 20 years very familiar with the challenges that women in tech suffer from and encounter on a daily basis. Women in Cloud came across my desk maybe two or three years ago, and I've been very interested in supporting their mission and elevating the position of women across the technology spectrum. As a former research analyst for one of the top firms in the world, I found that a lot of times I would come into a client engagement and they would ask me when the analyst was going to arrive. They had a hard time believing that I was the person with the credentials and the expertise to bring to bear the information that they were paying thousands of dollars for. And at the time, I thought that that was normal and I came to a place in my life about 10 years ago where I realized that it was time to really expand and amplify the position of women in the technology sector. So if I were to give advice to women trying to come into technology right now, I would say be very clear on what your differentiators are, be very clear on who your funders are going to be and who your buyers are going to be, and work your network as hard as possible. There are lots more people right now willing to engage with women founders that are looking to invest in women founders and that are seeing a lower risk put on the ability for women founders to get the returns that they're looking for. My business, The Rising Tides, works with large organizations to help them understand, identify, and remove what are those invisible barriers that are preventing women in their organizations from advancing, not only into the executive levels, but really into that higher management level that builds the pipeline into executive management.